did a fantastic job in uh, that that department. But uh, anyway, so uh, two of the girls go go into the fog separate times. Separate times. Um, the news reporter they like actually show her going into the fog, into this mist, this thick fog. She's walking around. She like hears noises from time to time, but said nothing. Um, but then she she sees this like a uh, demonic statue, and this this scene's actually pretty cool. The uh, statue like turns his head and 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 looks at her, and and it starts like bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Bleeding from like the eyes and the mouth, and he has a heart in his hand that starts pumping and starts bleeding. He's doing that, he's bleeding. It's it it it's a pretty cool scene. A little bit corny though. It, it, it's a little bit corny, but it's kind of cool. Um, like I said so. So it, they said to leave, and they think, okay, everything's good, and this crazy statue, but then the daggum journalist lady still like, I don't want to find out more. Why? What is the statue? Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, like I said, the boyfriend, she just left her, said, if you guys, I'm going home. Anyway, don't do that. <laughs> Anyway, the uh, the uh, town town folk kidnaps both of the girls, and, uh, and and we find out why because anyone who saw this statue becomes possessed by by like a demon or by like a devil, whichever. So it becomes a exorcist disc movie. So I would say, you know, Hostel and, and uh, Exodus. So I guess it's kind of like combining those two movies together. Kind of. Um, but like I said, this this film does does a really great job at uh, bringing you into the film and like thinking, oh my gosh. And it's, and it's a little bit scary because of that because like little like scares can like can like make you go jump up and go, ooh. But um, this film kind of kind of drops off a little bit after the uh, the the news reporter starts starts becoming demonic and starts going crazy because then you know like the makeup's a little bit corny, you know stuff happens a little bit corny, but overall it's not that bad. It's just kind of like you start to feel hmm. I kind of wanted wanted something more more about this town. And uh, anyway, I'm not gonna say too much. For one thing, I I, th I think I ranted too much about this film so far. Anyway, um, I didn't expect this video to be. Anyway, um, overall, this. This film's a little bit slow, and there's really not too much that uh, happens in it. As if uh, something was missing, or they could have gone further to this. It just the film just kind of ends, and you're like, eh, eh. Um, before you do that, okay, gore, really quick, yeah, gore factor. There's not too too much. I mean, there's there's like some, and like some of it's like, wow, that's that's pretty good. So that's why I'm gonna give it a six out of ten there, just because of the, the like the light gore there is actually kind of cool. Um, overall, the film, like I said, there were some downsides, there were some good sides, but I definitely think that everyone should, should at least watch it. I'm not saying that the person you know are gonna like it, but you know it's 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 it's, it's definitely worth the 93 minutes or whatever it is 87 minutes long so so I'll be giving this 
a 7 out of 10. Catch you guys next time. Bye bye.